What's up everyone, it's Rick back with another video. We're in my at home office to talk all about how to make the perfect brochure for your wedding based DJ company. All right, so in this video, I plan to talk everything related to making and having your brochure for your company, all the things you need to consider, whether you haven't made a brochure yet, or you're making a brochure, or you need to fine tune your current brochure to make it better for the sales process in your company. I'm gonna talk about all the details here in this video. Firstly, I do wanna talk about the things that make a good brochure, the things you need to consider when it comes to your company. Then secondly, we're gonna talk a little bit about the different types of sales strategies you can have on your brochure between packages, a la carte, and that sort of thing. And then lastly, I am going to show you guys the exact brochure that we use here at Fusion Sound and Lighting, and I'm going to tell you why we use that. Plus, you guys will have the option to download my exact brochure that we use, and you could tweak it to your company specifically. So if you guys would like that brochure, I'm gonna have it linked in the description down below so that you guys can download it. I'll also note that we use HoneyBook for all of our backend CRM systems. If you need more videos on HoneyBook, I got a whole playlist. I'll link it down below as well or you just comment down below and say, I wanna know more about HoneyBook and I will get you guys that HoneyBook playlist. Even though we use HoneyBook, you guys can download the exact brochure that we use. I'm gonna include down below both a PDF copy and a Word document copy, so that way you guys can tweak them however you wish and use them however you wish in your business. The Word document is gonna be the most helpful because you can go in there, you can edit it, move some fonts around, add pictures, remove, and all that sort of stuff. Let's get into the first stage of the video though. And that is talking about the brochure in general in terms of every brochure is different for every single company. And these are the things you need to consider when making your brochure. So whether you are a single op or a multi-op, all these parameters apply. You wanna consider what makes you unique and what makes you different than your competitors. And if you haven't done this already, I highly recommend that you become a fake bride. Go make yourself a fake Gmail account for a bride, whatever you wanna call it, Brianna at blah, 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 1995. Put in a fake lead to all of your competitors in your area, and then you get to learn a little bit about what they advertise as being unique. And then you can tweak that to see what makes you unique as a company. And just to straight up tell you, you guys that's not that you provide lighting that's not that you're a better DJ those are not things that make you unique you can talk about things that if you are a really good mixer you can talk about how you're a good mixer or a good programmer but that's not things that necessarily make you unique do you have a planning software that none of your competitors have that would make you unique if all your guys in your area they just send one person to every single wedding and you send a two-person team that's something that makes you unique. If you're a multi-op, for instance, and you do W-2 employees instead of W-9 subcontracted DJs, that's something that makes you unique in comparison to your competitors. Again, you need to do your market research to understand your competitors as to what they offer, what they sell, and what you do differently. Do you do computer-controlled lighting and they do auto-random puke lighting? Do you go the extra mile to allow customization between, do you specialize in a certain genre of music like are you good with Hispanic music are you good with Indian music are you good with 90s and 2000s music whatever it is that is a unique thing to you I will stress though some things and I've mentioned a couple that you don't want to take as a unique selling proposition how many years you've been a DJ don't use that as a unique selling proposition for your DJ business on your brochure no one cares. Don't list that as one of your options. Do you also DJ in clubs and bars? That's something unique to you. And yes, that might turn off some clients potentially, but you like DJing in bars and clubs, which means you probably like taking that bar club atmosphere to your weddings. So people that like that are better clients for you in general. So I do want to stress heavily, you consider and take some time to really think about the things that make you unique as a company, your unique selling propositions, what makes you different from all your other people, and these are the things that you're going to want to craft and implement into your brochure. Now let's touch on the different ways of selling your services. I'm a little opinionated on this, but I do see why all the different types are valid. And what I'm talking about is you have a la card or packages. Or we'll talk about what I've created, which is bundles, which bundles is a little bit of both of those combined, which is what I think is the sweet spot. Me personally, I do not like packages for what we do. 
I'm going for more of a high-end, really skilled DJs that know what they're doing. They know the mix. We're not trying to do a ton of events. We're trying to do more of the luxury premier market, and that's what we're trying to push. So in that realm, packages are not great for us because most of the clients in that level of service are looking for customization. I also don't like packages because you're kind of hiding your DJ skills in the packages. We want predominantly for people to have the option to just book the DJ with the audio only, or just book the DJ with up lighting, etc. I don't want them to basically always have to have a package. That's just my personal preference. On the a la carte side, it's pretty self-explanatory. All the items are itemized and you have the ability to pick from both. You can show both packages and a la carte on the same brochure and you'll see I have a similar thing to that. The other thing you can do is a bundle system and this is something that I kind of created in my head. I created this back in 2019 when I was seeing like McDonald's and uh, Wendy's did the four for four. McDonald's did like the pick two where you can pick any two and it's one price. That's kind of what I did and you'll see it in my brochure here in a second. But I did that with all of our most popular DJ add-ons or enhancements as we call them in our company. So it's basically a pick system, a pick two, a pick three, and a pick four and the price point for that bundle is a little bit less than if you go the a la carte route for those options, but it leaves customization. So unlike a package where you're kind of stuck with the three things that are in the package, these allow our clients to become a little more custom and pick the options. And this system has worked really, really well for my company over the last three years that we've been doing it. So like I said, it's a way of taking packages and a la carte and kind of combine them together and getting the best of both worlds. And that's what I like because a lot of the people when it comes to the package side or I guess the people looking at like a brochure that's just a la carte are kind of overwhelmed and don't know what to pick. So the packages pretty much tell them these are what you're gonna pick. But bundles is like here are two things, you can pick any two things that you want and it simplifies the pricing strategy for them on the brochure. Without further ado though, let's jump in, let's do some screen sharing on the computer here and talk through my brochure and why it's laid out the exact same way that it's laid out. All right guys, so we're in HoneyBook real quick and I wanna show you guys um, just the back end dashboard right here. We are in the legacy templates. I am a HoneyBook educator, so there's a little side plug to that. We get all the beta stuff advanced, and um, HoneyBook has smart files, and I've had smart files now for, I wanna say like six, eight months now. They gave it to us like well before everyone else did. And um, we tried smart files, and combination of I didn't like them and we didn't use them correctly, I would guess, and we've switched back to our legacy templates. So smart files are like a really, really big customize. You can really customize your brochures and everything down to the wire. Um, you can build in pricing and selections. It's really advanced, but we don't use it. And I have five DJs and we're a multi-app company and we don't use it. Would I like to try and use it? Yes, but we are not using it as of right now. We switched back to legacy files and we've been using them ever since. We might look into smart files in the future, but we are not. I'm really leaning towards just putting our pricing on a hidden web page on our website. So that way no one has a copy of our pricing at any point in time. So if someone inquires this year and and um, they ghost us and they hit us up next year for the wedding. The price point has probably gone up, but they don't have a copy or a record to tell us what that price was. If it's on our website, we can change it at will and it allows us to keep things uniform. But in general, the same concepts will apply for building out your pricing brochure. Let's go, uh, so in legacy templates, um, we're down here in the brochures. I have a variety of different brochures that we use for the different things we offer. We have an event brochure, a rental brochure. We have two different wedding brochures. You can see one price tag and three price tags because I fluctuate my pricing throughout the year. So if you inquiry for a May or October date, specifically a Saturday, you're gonna get the higher pricing package because we have more demand. If you inquiry for a January date, you're gonna get the lower price point or if you inquiry for a weekday. Most companies do that sort of style where the pricing fluctuates depending upon the day of the week and the month of the year based on demand. I went ahead, I created a little Z for download. This file that I have for download, again, I have, it's gonna be for download below. You guys can click the link, it's 10 bucks. Very simple, 10 bucks, download it. You guys can take it and use what you want. I have gone through and removed some of the links. So all the links are removed and I re removed 
each of our individual DJ profile names only for the sake of I don't want you guys to accidentally post them on your account. So please, if you do download it and you are going to use my brochure, make sure you go through, make sure you edit all the headings, make sure everything, if you're in my market, make sure you're changing the pictures because the pictures are pictures of our events. I have this broken down into sections. HoneyBook is nice that it shows the sections on the left. If you're building this in Microsoft Word, you can't necessarily do that, but if you're building this in HoneyBook, you can add sections here. So I have an intro section, a headline DJ section to talk about our different DJs. I am a multi-op. If you are a single op, you would pretty much combine the intro and the headline DJ into one and talk about you as a DJ and what makes you unique at the beginning. And then I have the bundles. Again, if you're doing packages, you can have the packages here. And then I have my a la carte section. We break down into enhancements and more enhancements. So the enhancements are what are options for the bundles. The more enhancements are all of our kind of customary range stuff. I'm a very open and honest guy, so the pricing is on this brochure. You guys are gonna see what I charge here in Greensboro, North Carolina for our guys. Price point goes up on a periodic basis, but this is literally what we're charging. This is our business. I'm open as can be here. Again, at the beginning here, what makes us unique? So making your special day unforgivable. I wanna also preference the way this is worded you wanna word it talking as if the client is reading about themselves. So you don't wanna say like, we provide this and this and this. You wanna say, on your special day, you're gonna be getting this. You will be getting this. You're gonna get this. You're gonna experience this. You don't want to say, we offer this. I am the best at this. You want to paraphrase it as if the person is reading about what they're gonna experience. Again. This is all about what is in it for them in terms of what makes you unique. So making your special day unforgettable. What do you get with FSL? So I have some blurbs here. We talk about how you're gonna get an in-house employee with our company. We do W2 DJs. All of my competitors that are multi-ops are doing subcontractors. So that's something that makes us unique. We have a stress-free wedding planning app, other known as Vibo. So shout out to Vibo. We use Vibo for all of our stuff. That is something that makes us very unique here, giving clients a easy to follow app experience to customize their day. And I have a link here and uh, we'll open it real quick. This goes to a video of me explaining how the app works. And um, I actually just noticed that this link is to the old video and not the new video. Finding out more now. This is not what the app looks like. The app looks way better than this now. Um, if I go to my website, the video right here. This is what the app really looks like now. So um, yeah, I need to update that link. You find out stuff all the time. You know, you got a million links everywhere. It's just part of running a company. Don't sweat it. All right, the third per thing, um, we do a two person team. So every DJ has an assistant with them at their events to make things smooth. That is a unique selling proposition to us. Free custom song edits. We don't like that some companies charge more for this. We don't. So if they want, to make a custom mashup for their first dance, our guys will do it for free. There's no nickel and diming with our company. Then we have a statement around beyond your headline DJ, your whole team is behind you. This is probably one of the only statements that's a little cringe. I'm not entirely great with this one, but like we do have over a thousand weddings of combined experience. I don't necessarily like throwing that out there, but I'm just trying to show that we are very professional and we know what we're talking about in terms of weddings. And then I wanted to end it on a fun note. We're doing weddings, we're trying to have fun. So I wanted to put in there, fun, this is a passion for us. All of our guys are employees, we love to have fun. These bottom two right here, I would not say are really unique to our company. Anybody can say that about their company, but it's something that we kind of, we like to present. That's the intro blob at the top. Then we move to pick your headline DJ. Again, this is where you're gonna talk about yourself as a DJ, your background, what it is about you. This isn't really the more unique stuff. This is just getting to know you things that you wanna talk about. Again, we have multiple DJs. So at the top here, we talk about finding the right DJ that fits your vibe the best DJ for the best fit because all of our guys are a little bit unique and different and we talk about that. And one of the first things we want is them to pick the headline DJ. That's the first thing we want them to do. So each DJ has their little bio here about them. This is where we talk about how long they've been a DJ, either where they started or how many years they've been a DJ. Um, we talk about some of the background of how they got into DJing, what they specialize in terms of music, and then we also have links to all of their social media. We do have a header here that takes them to our website, which is pretty much a duplicate of this. We're just trying to get them over to our website, you know, trying to give them links to be able to explore us. I definitely recommend in your brochure having more links to things 
that your clients and your customers that inquire with you where they can go dig and find more info that backs what you're saying on your brochure. So linking to wedding wire in the knot reviews, linking to your website, because people come to you at different stages in the planning process. Maybe they came because they saw you at all these sources and now they're just trying to see the pricing. Or maybe they just were shopping for a DJ and you were the first result and they were like, all right, what's your price? And now they need to learn a little bit more about the other things. So sending them to links such as YouTube, Instagram, where they can view videos of your work or reviews of your work is huge. And if you can implement that into your brochure, highly recommend it. Again, it's all about connecting multiple points and multiple references about your company to further justify you as the better choice or the best choice for their wedding. So that was a big ramble, but each one of our DJs has links to their YouTube, to their Instagram. If they have a high follower count, we try to capitalize and show that. And then we just have a base rate for five hours. Now we don't go into much detail as to what that base rate covers for five hours. That's more of like giving them the option to now ask questions, but that really is just literally five hours, audio only, reception, cocktail only, no ceremony, none of that for five hours. That's what all my guys start at. Um, again, if they have high follower accounts, we try to list them. YouTube, 17, 2500, there's links to TikTok because Marcellus has a big TikTok following. Again, just bios about them. Now, if you are in the instance that you're a multi-op and you're the owner of the multi-op, I always like to have the owner charge more because more than likely, I mean, if anybody had the choice of every DJ in my company, they're probably gonna want me over my other guys just because I am the owner. I mean, outside of that, I have this big YouTube following. I also have a pretty strong Instagram following and my face is pretty prominent in the company being the owner. So I charge more for myself. A lot of other companies do that in multi-ops. I do that as well. And then again, listing a little bit about me, being an owner, speaker, etc. At the bottom of the DJ side, again, all I want them to do first is book the DJ. All of the add-ons and enhancements are extra things that they can book on in our brochure. So at the bottom here, we do talk about overtime rate. We talk about travel radiuses, if we charge more for travel and what that looks like. So that's all right there as well. Then we get into our bundles. And this is what I was talking about. We do a bundle system where each bundle has a certain number of items they can pick and they can pick from those odd items. It's like a package, except you get to pick what goes into it. And this is honestly, I love this scheme um, and feel free to implement it into your company as well. I like it way more than doing a set package but if you are in a company where you don't have a lot of enhancements, sometimes packages are better because you're trying to sell those specific items that you do through and through, such as uplighting. I will mention in the bundling system, when we go through the sales process, when we're on the sales consultations with these couples, we do mention our most sold items, such as uplighting, intelligent party lighting, ceremony audio, custom monograms, the things we do more often that aren't as logistically challenging. I have three different bundles. This is a common thing if you've ever learned about brochures. Um, if you're doing packages, you wanna do three packages. If you're doing bundles like me, you wanna do three bundles. And the reason for this is you wanna low, medium, and high. What you really want to do here is whatever that middle bundle, that middle package is, make that what you want to sell the most of. So if you're doing a package and you do base, middle, high, and say you really want to do ceremony and uplighting, make your middle package ceremony and uplighting, and make it the most significant discount, as you'll see here as well. They can select any two enhancements, any three enhancements of all these that are listed, and they get all the benefits of what's listed above top at the very top, and then basically it's the head DJ base rate plus this amount for the bundle. And then it tells them how much they're saving in comparisons to the a la carte pricing, which is below. And as you can see right here, we jump from 200 to 400 and 600 dollars in savings. And then basically this is a pick three, pick four. I hope that makes sense, but this is how we lay it out. Most commonly, I'll just tell you for our industry, we sell the signature bundle and we even put their most popular bundle, most popular package. We do elegant signature luxury. You could do a uh, gold or silver gold and diamond. There's all kinds of different ways that you can do this. Most people will book the signature bundle though with us and they'll do ceremony audio, venue up lighting, and they'll either do intelligent or custom monograms or cold sparks, or they might just do an additional hour. If you notice that, that is one of the options. So the way I sell this, and I guess this is more of, this is like a sales video at this point as well, but in the sales consultation, we tell them up front that picking the DJ is the first thing 
and then we say you have the option to select one of the bundles and I think this even says it right here don't know what you need yet no problem you can add or remove enhancements or bundles leading up to your big day all of these items are things we can do on the fly pretty easily you can add them quickly or not when we're having that initial sales conversation all I really want them focused on is finding the right DJ I really push that the right DJ for your event is the right pick like you want to make sure you have the right DJ then if they want to choose say the signature bundle when they first book they don't have to pick the enhancements so we'll just put the invoice three enhancements and then we'll reach out to them leading up to the wedding to decide on those enhancements and we can talk further around what ones are maybe the best fit for their venue. Um, like for instance, if they're outside under a tent, venue up lighting is not a good idea. So we would recommend more like intelligent party lighting or maybe a monogram on the ceiling or maybe we do tent wash, we do a custom thing. That's why I really like the customary of the bundles. It doesn't put the pressure up front for them to decide on all these enhancements and really know what all these enhancements are. I really want to push them to just be worried about the DJ. And you can do that in an a la carte fashion as well as a lot of companies do across America. All right, so that's enough on bundles. We're gonna now move over into the bottom two sections. And the first thing is popular enhancements. And these are basically all of these enhancements up here, just further described as to what it is that they are getting. And the price point is set up to basically equal the discount rate that they're getting here. So. It's $600 for two items and our individual items are basically $400 each. So if they get two of those, it's a $200 discount. It's just funny math that you put on your brochure to make discounts and sales and deals. Again, we got ceremony audio, um, describes what it is. Venue uplighting describes what it is. Again, try to make your description not detailed about the equipment, but detailed about what they are getting. So like you spend a lot of time coordinating your wedding colors, adding touches throughout the wedding dress, uh, the wedding dresses, centerpieces, flowers, etc. How about we light up the walls of your venue in your wedding colors? This is done with uplighting. So it explains what it is we're doing. Shout out to Alan Berg though, because I'm pretty sure I used that exact phrase from one of the seminars I was at at Mobile Beat back in the day. I say back in the day, like back in 2018. He gave a speech and he talked about doing this exact thing to sell the experience of these add-ons or these enhancements don't necessarily describe what the equipment is because your client doesn't give a crap what the actual equipment is. Unless it makes sense to. Like even here, instead of saying lapel microphones, I say two hidden microphones. Those are lapels. They're hidden from really big sight. They're not a big bulky handheld mic. And then we put a guarantee on that that everyone's gonna hear every word spoken at the ceremony. Here's Cold Sparks, the hottest trend right now. Add a big wow to your first dance or your exit. We do get a little technical to describe what they are because a lot of people don't know what they are, but these are indoor outdoor sparklers are safe to the touch, only, burnt, only 62 degrees Fahrenheit. We can use them inside. So you can get a little technical where needed. Intelligent party lighting, we do get a little technical. Two elegant glow column totems with moving spot beam lighting fixtures. We create a very magical lighting effect at your wedding. That just say creates a very magical. Again, I'm not great at wording, being straight up honest with you guys. So this basically goes through all the different options and talks a little bit about them. Again, this whole brochure is linked below $10. You'll get the full descriptions that I use for all of our enhancements as well. Feel free to use them in your company unless you're one of my competitors in my area. Don't, don't use that because you would look weird if we both have the same brochure. But yeah, these are all the popular ones. These are all the things that are on my bundles. And then we have a more enhancements field where we talk about photo booths, glass string bulb lighting, twinkle lights, backdrops, spotlighting. And you'll see we do have prices on some of them, but a lot of them just say custom quote because Glass string bulb lighting, there's a million different ways to do that in different configurations and it's all different costs. Same thing with backdrops. You might be wondering why I don't have photo booths in my bundle section. Um, it's because I don't wanna push it. So everything that I put in my bundles or I put in my packages are things I wanna push sales-wise. The reason why my photo booths is all the way at the bottom of the damn brochure is because I could care less to put a photo booth on an event. And the reason I could care less is because we don't actually own any of our photo booths. We subcontract out our photo booths to other companies. Actually, I'll just say it. My buddy Eric Masgill, his company provides all the photo booths for our events. So we worked out a deal on the back end for how much I pay for a photo booth. So I still have a little bit of margin that I'm making on the events. That's how I do photo booths. Again, I just have a photo 
photo booth there because you run into clients that want a DJ that can also provide a photo booth. So for that, we have the photo booth on the brochure. Is it something I really want to do a lot? No, I really want the DJ to shine. Again, it's really about showcasing what you want the clients to know the most about you. So I push heavy on DJ, then we touch on adding items. If you want to, it's all customized to your liking. You can add some items. These are the ones we recommend and are done the most. And then here's the description of those items and then Here's the real custom stuff that we don't do a lot of, but we have the capability of doing. And that is a little bit about my brochure. And that right there is a look at my brochure. Now, my brochure is my brochure. Your brochure can be completely different. It could have packages. It could just be all all card. But I guess the moral of the story here is that the best brochures or the best brochures in my eyes start with almost the way of how a sales consultation will go. And actually, I utilize this brochure a lot in my sales consultations, and it's laid out in exactly the same format as if I were doing a script for my sales consultations. At the top, we talk about what makes us unique, and really, those things that make you unique need to be plastered all over the place. Those unique selling propositions need to be on your website. They need to be in your social media. They need to be on your brochure. They need to really be everywhere because you really want every client to know those things that make you unique so that way they know the things that actually matter to you and they can make a judgment to make sure your company or you are the right fit for their event. Then after your unique stuff, you need to talk about you as a DJ. You need to talk about all your individual DJs or you need to talk about how you pair the person with the right DJ. You are a DJ. You're a DJ company maybe. The first thing you want to talk about after your uniqueness is your background as a DJ, your background of all your guys as a DJ, or the DJ in general. That's why they're coming, they're booking the DJ, that's the main thing they're, they're there for, so talk about it first and foremost. And while I'm on the subject of DJs, shout out to all my guys. If you are watching at this point, put hashtag squad in the comments down below. We've been on it for the last few videos now, and if you're watching late in the video at this point, I really appreciate you guys. Put hashtag squad down below. It shows me who the regular people are that are trying to learn, trying to get better, and trying to do awesome things, and you guys are honestly the core members that really support my channel. So hashtag squad down below, and if you're putting hashtag squad, you better make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Hit that subscribe button. And also, while you're at it, hit the like button, because the like button, is what allows this video to go to other people so that they can learn how to grow their DJ business or how they can become a better DJ or about products, you know, all the things I do on this channel. After the DJ though, that's when you wanna hit them with whatever it is that you're trying to sell. If you're trying to do packages, that's where your packages need to be. If you're trying to do bundles, that's where your bundles need to be. If you're doing a la carte, that's where your a la carte list needs to start and you need to list that a la carte list in order as to what you want to sell the most of. Then of course, after, if you did bundles or packages, you have the a la carte list as well. Again, in order as to what is the most popular item or what you're trying to push in terms of sales the most. I'll also leave you on this. I have at the bottom that more enhancements page. And if you're just starting out and your company is small, you really need to think about what you want to do with your company. I'm really trying to grow our company to do more corporate production stuff, so that's why we have it on the brochure. I would really stress though, you limit what is on your brochure to be less than mine. Mine is way out there. I really, I, I like having all those things on there just to show that we have the capabilities, but if I was trying to really dial in and focus on selling more weddings, I would remove a lot of those things on there. If I was just trying to just jam out a lot of weddings, I'd remove that, but I'm trying to paint the picture for potentially other clients that they could recommend us to or corporate clients that they might know, or maybe they run a business and they might need services that we have these capabilities. I'll also leave you on this. If you have items and enhancements that you want to eventually sell, put them on your brochure. Don't wait until you buy it to put it on your brochure. I will tell you the best example is Cold Sparks for us. I've had Cold Sparks on my brochure since I launched the company. I had Cold Sparks on there on 2018. We didn't buy our first set of Cold Sparks until 2021. The price point on the brochure currently, the Cold Sparks are significantly cheaper than what they used to be on the brochure. I listed on there, I had like Cold Sparks, I had monograms, I had a few other things that I didn't have at the time. I had them on there trying to sell them. And if someone actually bought them, then I went and bought the gear and normally that first event, because the price was a little bit higher, it helped me in terms of paying and buying for that new equipment. You could also rent it. I mean, look at my photo booths. I have them on there, but we rent our photo booth every single time. So 
You can put things on there that are popular that people want. If you have a good connection to rent, then you just make sure that the price is adjusted so that you still make sure you're making a little bit of money on that enhancement. But you are not limited to what equipment you have to advertise on your brochure. You can advertise and put whatever it is you want on the brochure. Just make sure you either have the capabilities of if someone books it, going and purchasing those that equipment, or you have a buddy or a company or someone local that you can rent that item from and guarantee that you get it. That's a little thing that we've used to grow our company in terms of looking bigger initially when we first started out than what we really were. And now we basically were at that point. If you haven't seen the whole gear garage tour, it's incredible where we've came in the last two years. We've literally more than doubled our equipment inventory in the last two years. COVID might have had something to do with that wedding demand has been insane but anyways that's all if you guys want a copy of my brochure again it's linked down below for just ten dollars you guys can download it and do whatever you want with the brochure implement it use some of my text my text you guys are more than welcome to use some of the photos on there those are all photos that we personally have shot so you're more than welcome to have them if you would like to use them in your company as long as you're not in my area be, be a good sport because then you'll have the same images as me and you'll be looking weird because they'll probably see my brochure first or yours. Who knows? Anyways, if you did like this video, be sure to click the like button. Comment down below, squad, if you're watching at this point. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. If you guys would like to schedule a one-hour call with me to discuss more about business, talk about how I've grown my business, talk about how you could grow your business, there's a link down below as well where you can schedule a paid consultation for one hour with me and we can talk about whatever you want in terms of business, whatever. We can do it. It's linked down below. Schedule a consultation with me. Anyways, subscribe to the channel if you're not doing so already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep them records spinning. Peace.